Aha, hello, dinky do. It's me, Scotty McClure, and we are, of course, live on the big one. Facebook Live, so there you are. Excellent stuff. Now then, we'll just uh, sort out this tremendous stuff, and uh, we'll get sorted out. Right, we have a live connection, so all should be well, I think, there. And uh, we should be back with you now. You're watching Scotty McClue, and we are live on the big one, Facebook Live. The one everyone's talking about, the one everyone is watching. One hour of superb scintillating information, education, and entertainment. This is show number 65. Can you all spread the word? Very, very important. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 that Scotty McClue is live on Facebook Live. The one everyone's watching, the one everyone's talking about. We are changing the face of television as we speak. There's Kevin Biles saying dinky-doo to Scotty McClure. Excellent stuff. Great to have you with us, of course. And uh, I notice we are building as we speak. Now, you won't be expecting me here, so it doesn't actually matter. But um, everybody can get together and start joining in as the evening goes on. Very, very exciting. And if you've just joined us, then a very, very warm welcome. This is Scotty McClure, the world's top broadcaster and the first lord of the internet, saying dinky do to you. I just thought I'd pop up and see what's happening and uh, see if you're all ready for Christmas. Maybe chill a few of you out a bit and calm you down. Dinky do, Scotty, says um, Vaji, VJ, and uh, Ian Pugh, Gordon Ritchie. Hello, Scotty, from Adricket, Dublin. So it's raining in Dublin tonight. It's raining down in the old city of Dublin. So I hope you're all right and you keep yourselves nice and dry. There we are. Did you do, Scotty? What do you reckon uh, about Damien Green? Well, um, they said that the other one had said that he would go if uh, that one went. So there you are. Uh, can anyone stop the McClure? I don't think so, says Gregor Gillespie. Let's hope not, Gregor, because we're building and building and building. And we're on something of a roll. It's very, very important. Merry Christmas, Scotty, from Robertson in the Southern Highlands in New South Wales, Australia, says Ali Henning. Thank you, do, Ali. Lovely to have you with us from New South Wales in Australia. Greg Gillespie, lovely to have you with us. You are in the United States of America. You're still in Hollywood. Uh, do let us know what's happening. Paul McCulley, you keep popping up at strange times. Are you on every night now? No, what we're doing, we're just seeing what's the best time for you guys. To be honest, Paul, I'm doing a kind of averaging out of the audiences and seeing what's the best time for you guys. So there you are. If you've just joined us, a very warm welcome. You're watching Scotty McClue, first lord of the internet and the world's top broadcaster. Present company accepted and accepted. McClue, lord of the internet, may the force be with you, says Gregor, and also with you, dear boy. Excellent stuff. Colin Muir's watching. And um, who have we got here? A shout out for Jennifer Peel. So there we are. Jennifer Peel, dinky do. Friday night would be awesome, says Paul McKelly. We may well look at that. That may yet come to pass, Paul, I say. Stephen Menzies is watching. Dinky do, Stephen. 9 p.m. sounds like a good time, Scotty, says Craig Gordon. I think so, Craig. I mean, people are very, very busy at this time of year, so we're not good at the most accurate audience figures. But in actual fact, uh, since the other night, thousands and thousands have joined us this week. It's tremendous. Bob Huckins watching. Chris Haley. Dinky do. I think, Craig, that 9 p.m. is probably quite a good time. We're just past. What are we at? We're just about 20, 21, 22 minutes past nine now. And we'll see how things are round about the 10 o'clock mark. So excellent stuff. Robert Brawley, come and join us, I say. You're watching Scotty McClue. And we're live on Facebook Live. That's the big one. If you've never heard of me, capital S, small c, o, double t, i, e. That's the Scotty and the McClue, capital M, small c, capital c, l, u, e. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to sit you all there, if I may. And um, I'm going to see if I can uh, share the video, get that out round and about, let everybody know that we're on, okay? So there we go. Uh, show 65, yes, well, share, good, that's up there. That's excellent. Do I post when it says post story? Should I post the story first? Is that what one 
does in this life. Do tell me, of course, because you're talking to McClue, who's um, come from one generation to another. I am something of a Time Lord, and I would love to have been the next Doctor Who. So there you are, but it's gone to a lady, and I'm not going to uh, make that sort of change. So there we are. <laughs> Scotty McClue, live new. <coughs> Shall I say Scotty McClue? There we are, excellent. Scotty McClue, live right new. Would that be quite good? Live right now. <laughs> right new. So there we go. And I'll take the, um, what I'll do, guys, I'll take the URL from the Facebook page, copy that. I think that's quite important. So there we are. And uh, pop that on here as well. And then people have got that. You see, they've got it right in front of them. Marvellous, marvellous stuff. And I, in turn, will also just copy that. Hang on a second. Copy and paste. This old computer's a little bit on the slow side. This is why I'm looking for funding to see if we can up the equipment a wee bit. Uh, up the ante, as they say. So there we are. We're funded on bubble gum at the moment. Marvellous stuff. Right, there we go. And I'm also going to share that to uh, the group and let everybody know that we're on there as well. Lovely to have you all with us. A very good evening to you. If you've just joined us, you're just in time for the start of the programme. Scotty McClue with you. And uh, we'll stay on for a wee while and uh, see who's out there, as they say, in Crocodile Dundee. Quite marvellous stuff, but do let me know where you're watching. Very, very important. So if you're watching, say, here I'm here's where I am, Scotty. And always let me know. Very, very important. And what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna run through some of the groups and uh, and, and share it here and let us know what is what. Can you imagine if I knew what I was doing? I would be dangerous. Tremendous. There we are. Excellent. Right, and uh, we'll also share it to all the pages. So we'll tell one or two of the groups that we are here. That's happening as I speak. Adam McKay is watching. Hi, Scotty. What can we do if there is no law and order? Brian Tattersall, Johnny Barrett, Andrew McKay, Jerry Carty, David Russell, and Linda Bean. Welcome, 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 guys. Lovely to have you with us. And uh, I'm just doing a little bit of sharing here, a little bit of group work, just to let you know what is what. So that's, if you see me on, that's actually what's happening. A little bit of group work, and uh, and we're building up there. Marvellous stuff, marvellous stuff. Right, I shall pop that in there. Uh, and that's uh, for all the business people watching. There you go. Excellent stuff. And we'll just post that as well. And this will all get round. This is the way to do it. We're talking social media here. Um, who else have we got? Uh, Kevin Roberts, I'm in Crewe in the great northwest of century land, as you know it. Crewe, absolutely. Oh, Mr. Porter, what shall I do? I wanted to go to Birmingham, and you've taken me off to Crewe. Ivan Cohn's watching Ricky Evans. Hi, Scotty, live twice in one day. You can't beat it. No, we did pop up this morning just for a quick pop up to say hi to the nation. I think that was quite important. But obviously, um, we've got lots and lots of things to do. There we are. Everybody knows what's going on now. No problem at all. David Russell and Andrew Mackay. Thank you very much. Hi from Foggy Uddingston. Yes, it is quite foggy tonight, isn't it? So close to Christmas. And of course, uh, Santa Claus. Santa Claus. He'll be able to do his stuff, which is rather good as well. Good old Santa Claus, I say. Right, um, share to a page, so we'll share it to Dinky Doo as well. There's all these Scotty McClue pages, guys. Start to do your homework because this is very, 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 very big, right? There's lots and lots happening. And uh, Scotty McClue is the latest big thing across the universe. So start to get used to it. Be part of this wonderful show. There we are, and I shall just post that as well to Dinky Do, and everybody will know what is happening. The message is getting out there. Lord George Russell McFarlane's watching. Uh, James Fitton, hi from Hemsworth, says Peter Lockwood. Dinky Do, Peter, lovely to hear from you in Hemsworth. And uh, Lord George Russell McFarlane says, Good evening, Scotty. 
with an IE. You've put a Y in there, Laird George Russell. McFarlane, what on earth is going on? So there you go. Now, you'll be getting a bit of feedback, guys, so I'll just take this one down, if I may, and uh, that'll let that one go. Excellent stuff. Right. Uh, evening, Scotty, says Eric Bastian. Hello, Eric. How are you? And dinky-doo. Is everybody ready for Christmas? What does Christmas actually mean to you? You can type back to me. We're fully interactive on this program. And uh, yes, we should open the Skype, but we had a wee guy that swore. But I've got an idea for all that. Uh, so there you are. So I'll be talking to some of the real big techo heads at some point, and we'll see what we can do. You should do a pay-per-view, Scotty, and do a controversial chat via Messenger. Well, the only thing is I took Messenger off this particular device, Kevin, because it was cancelling out the program. So a very strange, it was ding, and the broadcast was falling. So uh, I found that it might have been something I was doing. I've not been critical of the old network, but that's what was happening. But I suppose we could do Messenger on something else. So there you are, and uh, and have a chit-chat there. I have a nine-year-old. It's about family for me, says Andrew Mackay. Absolutely, Andrew. It's a great time for family the old Christmas. Very, very important. I'm just going to keep sharing for the first few minutes, guys, uh, just to get everybody warmed up. I think that's very, very important. Uh, and let everybody know that we're actually on live right now. And uh, what I'll do, I'll just pop into some of the other groups here and, uh, and see what's what. So share to a group. Marvellous stuff. And I shall just pop this in. Group name. There we go. Excellent. Excellent. And uh, pop that up right now then. Busy, busy times. Lovely to have you with us. Dinky Doo from Birkenhead. There's Ricky Evans in Birkenhead. All right, sauce so is Stephen Morgan. Dinky Doo. Christmas now is all about spending money in debt after it's gone. Well, shouldn't we change that, Peter, and make sure that it's not about that? I think that's something we could be doing to actually change it. So have a think about that. How do we change it so that Christmas is not all about that? Very, very important. Now, I know you guys are busy, but we'll pop up and uh, get you coming on and see what's what. There we are, just doing a little bit of sharing, and uh, you can send it round as well. We'll have a share a little bit later in the program. Now, I'm just going to see because it's funny. I was talking earlier, and I was a little over to one side. So I'm just hoping that this camera is nice and clear. Um, just shared as well, says Andrew Mackay. Uh, Stephen Morgan is sending out to his pal, Dinky Doo, Dinky Doo to you, Colin. Uh, Christmas means to me sharing occasions with family. So there you are. And um, I can't go on with that one, Jonathan McBride. There you are, dancing in the living room. And cha-cha, uh, sliding with the kids. Uh, good of the Who's Party, Scotty McClue. Uh, Laird George Russell McFarlane, a big shout out to the Scott Rail Gang at Motherwell Station. Merry Christmas, guys. Merry Christmas to everybody at the station in Motherwell. Do let me know where you're watching. Very, very important. Sonia Scott Mackay, one of our top models and one of our top agents, is watching Dinky Doo. Sonia Scott Mackay, I hope you are well. And I send you all the warmth and blessings of the season uh, so there you go and uh, what else have we got oh yes excellent stuff so there are do you think christmas is about money do you actually think that do come and tell me very important if you've just joined us a very warm welcome you're watching scotty McClue. we're live on facebook live the first lord of the internet this is the big one a shout out to my wife victoria my son Jaden and Evie, my wee angel, and Rasputin, my pal, says Jonathan McBride. Rasputin called after the old uh, advisor to the Tsarina in Russia 100 years ago, 100 years since the Russian Revolution, since they toppled all the rich people being at the top of the country. You know, you wouldn't find that, I'm quite sure. So there we are. Uh, I used some of your sayings on Century. My favourite was when you used to tell people to shove their head up the backside and blow their nose till the pressure equalised. I took great pleasure in that. Yeah, don't try that at home now, of course, though. That was for entertainment purposes 
Only, I have to say, got to say that just as uh, as a wee um, a wee clearance there. So excellent stuff, no problem with that at all. But uh, do get in touch, guys. Uh, come on and interact with an interactive program. We did try the Skype, which was brilliant, but we had a schoolboy uh, said a naughty word. And he had to go, and we lost the uh, the video for that, and had to edit the audio and pop the audio back up. Not to worry, we're now at program 65. You are watching live Scotty McClue, the first lord of the internet, with his 65th live program. Now, how good is that? There you are. How amazing is that i think that's absolutely fabulous so uh, feel free to come on and make a comment are you ready for christmas i say that's the important question tonight also please i beg of you do not stress yourself out do not worry too much all right christmas will come and go it's a celebration of the birth of christ so there you are uh, one bad apple shouldn't stop the Skype cut, Scotty. No, I know, Andrew, but I don't want to put my name to just a lot of foul language. That's how lower level some people operate at, right? They operate right down underneath the gutter, and it spoils it for the majority. But uh, if I do get... Um, I've got a plan for a profanity device, and once we get that, we can just chit-chat as normal. A shout out to Ryan Arno, says Stephen Morgan. Dinky do, not a problem. One bad apple in the barrel can cause a little bit of rot, as you know, Andrew. But uh, we can get the Skype going and maybe even the messenger as well. That might be quite fun. Uh, Gary Cross is watching, Dinky do. Uh, Christmas has been commercialized. It's about promoting the adult's ego. For example, when parents post on Facebook the piles of presents and then the kids all compare, and assume that Santa likes the... I don't want to press see more in case I lose the broadcast. So there you are. So I shan't be doing that at the moment. If you've just joined us, welcome, welcome, welcome. You're watching Scotty McClure. And we're live on Facebook Live. That's the big one. Mary Carty's watching. Mary Carty, come and join us. And let us have the benefit of your wisdom, your wise dom, and your chit-chat. <coughs> Very important. <clears throat> You'll just have to let me cough, guys. I do apologise. Little touch of the lurgy. And, of course, it lingers. It's lingering lurgy. Mm. But we've got the barley water. Very, very nice as well. A bit of passion fruit there. So very, very good. Yeah, a secure group, Scotty. And invite only, says Andrew Mackay. Aha. Well, you see, Andrew, you're not talking to the absolute brains of Facebook here, I have to say. So it would be a good idea... I might um, get advice from the likes of your good self. I might set up, well, we could probably do the Scotty McClue group, uh, which is in uh, in action already. So there you are. Feel free to come on and join it. It's a fabrication to exploit people's hard-earned money right out back of their pockets to a fat made-up hoax who's also an anagram of Satan. What better way to get people's money back than during a time... Hold on. Oh, I don't want to risk Seymour. I don't want to risk Seymour. The uh, good stuff or the cheap stuff, Jonathan McBride. Well, this one, the very best, the very best. You know, I got a good 30p in that. Mm. Good evening. Hope you're well, says Anwen Wright. Anwen Wright, I am indeed, and thank you so much for asking. Very much appreciated. Alistair Badgick's watching. Alistair, come on and join us. You're watching Scotty McClue. And we are, of course, live on Facebook Live. That's the big one, the one everyone's watching, the one everyone's talking about. Scotty McClure changed the face of radio 25 years ago, made it an awful lot more interesting, a lot more enjoyable, and a lot more interactive. The big companies don't want to risk that, so they've just gone jukebox now. But uh, you can't fool all the people all the time, of course. And eventually, we need to go back to interactive radio and television. Good man, ha-ha, <laughs> says Jonathan. Yes, no, 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 no. No expense spared. McClue knows to get up there and get himself a good 50p bottle of juice. And uh, then we can chit-chat. So I'm very well, Anwen. Thanks again. Hi, Scotty, says Daniel Roberts. Dinky-doo, Daniel. Lovely to hear from you, and I hope you're ready for Christmas. 
and I hope that everybody can find somewhere to go and something to eat this Christmas and every day afterwards as well. Scotland, of course, was asset stripped by uh, the late Margaret Thatcher, and um, we need to get that these assets back to Scotland, get the money back into Scotland big time, get it pouring in. All the money from the oil fields, from the whiskey, from the shortbread, from the foodstuffs, from uh, the, the larder of the world, right? Right across central Scotland and northern Scotland. Sorry I'm late. What's tonight's topic, says Gary Crossan? We're discussing everything, Gary. We don't just have single topics, but we're just asking if everybody's ready for Christmas at the moment and what they are doing. So that's what's going on there. Uh, Mrs. May is looking for a deputy after sacking Damien Green. How about you, Scotty? Says Alfred James Wright. I'm not sure that uh, Mrs. May would be able to take instruction from me. That's the whole thing. She might. She might, actually, because uh, she might spot uh, the, the, the wise head on the shoulders and the safe pair of hands. But um, I'm not sure. We'll see what's what. Um, he's telling us about the beast he slayed to make that mad hat. Absolutely. This is wonderful. This is a quality cap, this, and I've had it for many, many years. If you've just joined us, folks, a very warm welcome. Your first job is to share the broadcast to everybody who's watching with you. A shout out to Big Jack from Green Hill, says Stephen. No problem at all. Excellent stuff. Gerald Mackay is watching. Dinky do, Gerald. Lovely to have you with us. So there you go. And uh, I see someone broke into a food bank in Coat Bridge and trashed it. The place is getting worse, says Gary. Yes, I don't understand that kind of mentality. I have to be honest with you. I only think that the, the whole world needs to look and deal in positives and pluses. From the leadership down, they need to be trained in positive thinking and a positive mental attitude to life. How can we help each other out? The feeding of the 5,000. Perhaps we do need to go back to the good book. Perhaps we do need to go back to the Christmas story. To the fact that there were in that same field shepherds abiding, keeping watch over their flocks by night. Uh, Scotland needs to sell more iron brew. Scotty, seriously, does Scotland need to invest in electric vehicle production when most people stop using oil? I think we're a good while away from using oil because oil is actually very economical. I know when Gordon Brown was in, he shoved up the price uh, for boats and things like that, which was really a very, very not good thing to do and not thinking. But, um, you know, the heavy oil engine is really quite economical. I can remember uh, an old friend of mine, and he bought what was the uh, Caledonian steam packet boat, the Countess of Bredalban. So there you are, the Countess of Bredalban. And uh, I remember saying to him, what does she cost to run? And he said, 70 gallons a day. And at that time, a gallon would be, I don't know, maybe a shilling or something. So she was costing 70 shillings. So she was £3.10 to run for a day. £3.10. Uh, £3 Imagine that. Fantastic. A shout out to Stuart Wilson, our swimming teacher, Sir Stephen Morgan. Dinky do, Stuart. Lovely to have you with us. And thanks very much. Neil O'Gormley is watching. I see Dinky do. You're all watching Scotty McClue. And we are, of course, live on the big one, Facebook Live. The one everyone's watching, the one everyone is talking about. You will get nothing on your television. As much joy and fun as watching the Scotty McClue show. I promise you. And then share and share and share and share and share it afterwards. Very important. Good evening, Scotty from Newcastle. Says Jackie Fun. Are you down in Newcastle, Jackie? Lovely to have you with us, pet. That's smashing, that is. Uh, have you written a book? It'd be very interesting, says Gary Crossan. Well... I've written a thriller, Deliver Us From Evil. You'll get chapter one on YouTube. Pop in uh, Scotty McClure's YouTube channel and put in Scotty McClure reads from Deliver Us From Evil. And you will get chapter one of my thriller. But are you talking about writing a book about um, about my life? So there you are. Love the bonnet, says Kevin Brun. Thank you, Kevin. It's one of my favorites. Merry Christmas, everyone, says Gerald Mackay. Jacqueline McFarlane. Why, hey, man? Way hey man, Jack, Jackie's in Newcastle Lake, and she's saying, "Way hey man, 
Fantastic pet. That's brilliant. Oh, are you looking at us, love, are you? So there we are. A shout out for Jordan Wilkinson and Paul Leslie. Why not? I say, fantastic. You're watching Scotty McClue, Dinky Doo. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We're talking about Christmas tonight. Are you all happy? If you're not happy, why not? If you have been through tragedy or anything like that, we send you love. We send you strength. Very, very important. A uh, shout out to Elaine MacArthur, Stuart Wilson, Dinky Doo, yes, of course, absolutely. Right, that's enough shout outs. Uh, Keith Watherspoon, Dinky Doo, we need to put the compassion and the joy of helping others less fortunate back into Christmas. It's about what you get, not what it costs, says David Russell. Very fair point. So there we are. Right, Stephen, that's enough. Uh, any more nonsense, and we'll have to say cheery bye to you. Okay, and uh, in fact, what I'll do is, there's enough shout-outs, yes, more than enough shout-outs. Scotty, my mate, you know, I'm selling a fridge. Do you want to buy it? No, you're okay. I live in one of these, so uh, I'm not needing one of these. Thank you. <laughs> Fantastic. Welcome, 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 I say, if you've just joined us, you're watching Scotty McClue. We're live on Facebook Live. That's the big one, the one everyone's watching, the one everyone's talking about. And we're talking about Christmas. What does Christmas mean to you? Very important. So there you go. And um, should we have a broadcast on Christmas Eve? Should we have a broadcast on Christmas Day? Well, I do Scotty McClue's Christmas message at three o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> so we can see what's what there. Excellent stuff. Thank you very much. And uh, I hope everybody starts enjoying Christmas for the important reasons. Family and friends. Yes, excellent stuff there, George Russell McFarlane. Yes, he says. What was yes? So there we are. <laughs> Marvellous stuff. Uh, Robert Suzuki Rogerson is watching Dinky Doo. Excellent. I used to, uh, to ride one of your bikes, Robert. So marvellous stuff. Great to hear from you. Do you remember the days when you used to actually meet the people or see the people or know the people whose names were on things? Like, for instance, you take um, Bentley Motor Cars and you say, where did that name come from, Bentley? I mean, where did that come from? Answer, Walter Owen Bentley, W.O. Bentley, who I think, if I remember rightly, lived uh, well into the 70s. He lived till about 1975 or something like that. W.O. Bentley. <coughs> Fantastic. Uh, really happy, Scotty, when I see my grandchildren on Christmas morning. And all the children, they loved it. Scotty, when you go into a shop to get a Mars bar, 69p for one or four for a pound, what would you do? Well, it depends if I've only got 69p or if I've got uh, the pound. That's what I would say there. So, excellent. Yes to broadcasting a Christmas Day message, says Laird George Russell McFarlane. Carol Carlos Donnelly is watching Dinky Doo. We've just taken you on board as a friend, Carl Carlos Donnelly. I'll definitely watch Scottish Christmas message. Not any other, says Andrew Kerr. Oh, all right, Andrew, we get the message. A Christmas Day special sounds good, Scotty. I think if we could get the production team, Scotty McClure's Christmas uh, show could actually be bigger than Morecambe and Wise or the two Ronnies. Remember we used to Morecambe and Wise the two Ronnies on Christmas Day? I don't think we get anything really big on Christmas Day from the television companies. And I think they should have the Scotty McClure show. So there you go. And uh, there'll be no problem doing a one-person show because I've always said about, you know, double-headed presentation shows on the radio. What's the point in that? Because your show should be between you, that's you, the audience, and me, the presenter. That's what your show is actually about. It's you and me. And that's why people love radio and television shows when they're communicating directly with the person. Fantastic. The biggest thing on telly. <laughs> ah, excellent stuff. Thanks for accepting my friend request. Dinky news is Carl Carlos Donnelly. A great pleasure. Uh, Jacqueline McFarland. And also remember absent friends. Yes. Very, very important. But what was the highlight of the whole television thing? Because television's kind of gone to pot a bit. Have you noticed that they use 
um, noise over actual content. So everything's turned up massively, massively loud. Very loud music over things that you think, can I just watch this, please? You know, so they're sort of going, now, here's a very interesting fact from history in the background. Da -da -da -dee 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 -dee. You think, can we just hear this person? Can we hear them broadcasting? That's what it's about. Give me sunshine at the end of Scotty's Christmas show. Bring me sunshine. Yes, excellent stuff. You're the best, Scotty, says Carl Carlos Donnelly. Not at all. But um, I do like to inform, educate, and entertain because there's not enough of it out there. And uh, this is what we're actually needing. Proper interaction with people that are huge, massive raft of loneliness. I did an interview a couple of weeks ago with two grumpy critics. It's up on YouTube. Scotty McClure interview. Two grumpy critics, right? And these are fabulous people. They're over in America, in Virginia. And uh, we broadcast on Radio 6 International. Marvelous stuff. So get that. TV's mind-numbing, Scotty. You provide an education. I would hope so. Information, education, and entertainment. So that was Bentley, Walter Owen Bentley. And then you took another big company like Rolls-Royce. And you think, where did that name come from? Rolls-Royce. And, of course, it was uh, Charles Stuart Rolls, C.S. Rolls, who I think died about 1910. And he'd brought early electric cars into the country. I think he was importing them. I don't know if he was building them. And then he met Henry Royce from Manchester, uh, a wonderful engineer, a motor engineer. And uh, Henry Royce loved to make pieces very light so that um, the engines were quiet because car engines were quite crude. They were quite noisy and quite smelly and um, Rolls invested money with Henry Royce and uh, Royce made these very light parts uh, light pistons light cod rods all that sort of thing and um, I remember when Rolls first saw one of Royce's cars and Royce said I'll just start it up and he put in the handle and turned the handle and uh, you should start the Scotty McClure Scottish Dance Band <laughs> Fantastic. So there we go. Uh, yes, that's the shot. Uh, excellent stuff. But um, he put the handle in, turned the engine on, and um, Rolls turned to him and said, what's wrong with her? Won't she start? And Royce said, she's running. <laughs> Lovely. Um, and you'll see a picture of me with two huge Rolls Royces. And uh, the thing about them is... Um, you could hardly hear them still to this day running. They were 1930s cars, 1940s cars. You can still hardly hear them running. Do you know the Bentley factory was once owned by Kelvinator? So they were interesting. I didn't know that. I'll check it out. Makir Pevro, dinky do. Ian Walker, dinky do. Lovely to have you with us. Kevin Barr says the Robin Reliant. Yes. Love you to pieces too, says Jonathan. <laughs> Thank you, Jonathan. Very good. Uh, so there we are. And um, yes, I can see that, Jonathan. I'm getting all of your jokes here. I'm not necessarily going to broadcast them to the nation. If you've just joined us, everyone, you're watching Scotty McClure. We are, of course, live on Facebook Live. Can we have a massive share? Share, 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 share. Paul Heinemann's watching. Let me know where you're watching. We broadcast, we popped up this morning. And um, we uh, broadcast live, just a quick pop-up, bit of chit-chat. And we had people on from America, from the United States, who should have been in their bed at uh, 11 o'clock in the morning. And um, we had uh, uh, people on from Australia, Australia, just going to bed. So excellent stuff, amazing. Right, uh, Stuart Wilson and Stephen, just wrap it in just now, okay? Shared Scotty, says Tom Cunningham. Thank you, Tom. Very, very important. If you've got a big number of followers as well, guys, then please make a point of sharing. Don't be lazy. Don't say, oh, I'm not bothering with him. Actually, go on and do it because you're doing yourself a favor. The bigger this program becomes, the better it becomes. If you've got a spare pound or two, a fiver, a tenner, whatever, stick it into Scotty McClure's GoFundMe. And uh, you'll get that on. You just put in GoFundMe uh, forward slash GoFundMe.com forward slash Scotty hyphen McClue. 
Neil Holgate's just joined us. Dinky do. Lovely to have you with us as well. Very, very important. Did you check out the Gardner Diesels? And uh, Paul Heinemann, my nephew. I've donated a tenner to you, Scotties, as Carol Carlos Donnelly. Carol Carlos Donnelly, that is extremely kind of you. I hope everyone else takes a leaf out of your book and, uh, and does that because then I can get little bits of advertising. I can grow the show. Very important. It's called Grow the Show, and I can grow the show. All the details are on the GoFundMe page uh, on the website, so check all that out. Don't do it right now because we're watching the broadcast, but check that out. That would be great. Scotty, can I use my American Express? Of course you can. American Express, are fantastic. But Carol Carlos Donnelly, that's extremely thoughtful and extremely kind of you. Thank you very much for that. Uh, did you use the PayPal or the GoFundMe, may I ask? Because I'm trying to work out which is the most popular. Um, it says, that's how I asked. It says, no, that's how I asked you, says Jonathan McBride. Ah, sorry. I thought you were just having a laugh. So, uh, well, perhaps not. So there you go. It does take credit cards and debit cards. I know that. Uh, go fund me. It's all safe as houses. Watching this reminds me of listening to Q96 about 20 years ago. Keep it coming, Scotty, says Graham Dunn. Graham, a great pleasure, a joy it is. There's the family, says Paul Heinemann. PayPal, says Carl Carlos Donnelly. Ah, PayPal. Right, I thought it took all the credit cards, but um, if, uh, if that's uh, a problem, then I do sincerely apologise. Um, oh, no, it doesn't. PayPal's fine, yes. Carl, thank you very much for that. PayPal, very, very popular. Stephen Menzies says PayPal, very, very popular. Fair enough, guys. Just give me your bank details. I'll send it to you. And your PIN number. Yes, of course, of course. Thank you. And uh, does GoFundMe not take a percentage of your total amount? I think PayPal's cheaper. Yes, it might do, but also the administration and all the rest of it and GoFundMe. And you can post all the information about it so people can get that. So it kind of works out. But if you want to go PayPal, then that's fantastic. PayPal.me. Um, forward slash Scotty McLean, all one word. I used GoFundMe, says Gary Crossan. Yes, Gary, you did. And thank you. Thank you for that. And then I can also thank you all on GoFundMe. Uh, well, I'll send you an email from PayPal. No problem at all. Could you buy bandwidth on the internet and do an internet radio station? Be great if you get some of your old colleagues and recreate Century, says Kevin Roberts. Well, Kevin, the big hot number in radio at the moment is Great Yorkshire Radio www.greatyorkshireradio.co.uk and uh, you'll get that on the internet you will get that on DAB you will get that or certainly on DAB in Yorkshire and you'll get it on your mobile and you'll also get Scotty McClure you see the whole thing is rather than take bandwidth we can actually go multi-platform yeah and at 10 o'clock sharp on Great Yorkshire Radio you'll hear the Scotty McClure pop-up so fantastic. No question time tonight, Scotty. You could have had one on your show. Absolutely. If you want to ask a question, feel free to do so. And then we'll get a response from the nation. So let's just do that. Scotty, do you think David Davis should be sacked um, about uh, the Brexit assessment papers? So there you are. Um, well, I, I, the, I'm sure we did. We not hear that he was thinking of resigning if the other chap went and the other chap um, has gone and therefore you know should he go uh, i love that radio station now thanks to your show scotty this is carl carlos donny yes great yorkshire radio it's a station you'll fall in love with very quickly and it's a wonderful replacement for all the sort of glut of other stations that are on that you think this is just all the same so great yorkshire radio very good personality radio run by some wonderful people uh, go find me <laughs> was that founded by Lord Licken? Remember Lord Licken? Yes, absolutely. Um, so there we are. They think that he's actually gone now, don't they? Um, so uh, we could have question time on here. Good evening, says everybody. Welcome if you've just joined us. You're watching Scotty McClue. What kind of programme do you like? Do you like the programme we're doing now? Would you like to see politics? Would you like to see current affairs? Would you like to see comedy? Do you like to see tragedy? All that sort of stuff. Uh, was it Radio Scotland you were on a while ago? That was a brilliant show. Yes, I was in Radio Scotland, Kevin. 
I wouldn't mind being on Radio Scotland again, actually, because uh, it's, uh, it's a fine big station and the coverage of Scotland there. Uh, hope you have a dinky new Christmas, says Carl Gallistani. Yes, indeed, and thank you so much. Uh, £10 added to your fund. It's worth every penny, says Stephen Menzies. Stephen Menzies, thank you so much. It's so much appreciated. Um, I hope everybody, as I say, takes a leaf out of you and Carol's book and actually stick some pennies in there. Then we can get the show moving, get it advertised. A football phone in would be good, says Laird George Russell McFarlane. Comedy, says Carol Carlos Donnelly. You get a bit of that anyway, Carl Carlos Donnelly. So there we are. Caden Harvey, shout out, please. No problem, Caden. Uh, Jim Jasmine Anderson, just love a Colin. Yes, we should maybe have the old phone in. I'm just wondering if we could try it. I was going to get the phone and try the messenger. Uh, I haven't got the messenger on here because it was cutting out the show. Uh, so, But we could probably try the messenger and see what happens. Uh, and stick that up to the uh, up to the mic and um, also there's one or two other things I'm doing this on a, a mobile device as you can probably guess I was wondering about doing it on the PC but the camera was a bit dodgy the last time I said I'm trying out a new camera uh, can I can I ask the panel did video kill the radio star says Ian Walker <laughs> I think in Scotty McClue's case video might make the radio star remember i've still got to make it guys i haven't scratched the surface yet get our skype i've got one we've got skype we could go on it no problem at all uh, so there are uh, and uh, get jane frankie and super scott says he, well, do you remember that wonderful i knew jane very very well and alan her husband to lovely lovely people uh, who's your favorite comedian of all time scotty says graham dunn do you know, it's very interesting. I think it's got to be Chick Murray. And I love Billy Connolly as well. Love Billy Connolly. Uh, he opened up a whole new, different world. But Chick Murray, tremendously clever, tremendously funny guy. Uh, Lex McLean, I liked as well. He was a terrific character. Lex McLean. Um, shout out to Jane, says Caden. No problem, Caden. Yes, we can do that. Excellent stuff. Right, um, okay, politics. So somebody wants the politics. Fantastic. Uh, Chick Murray with a bonnet. Yes, he had one of, well, he had one of those, he had a wee toony, a wee toony in the middle of it, Chick. But uh, a very, very funny man, I have to say as well. But I love some of the present day comedians. I quite enjoy uh, watching live at the Apollo. There's one or two very good ones on there. Uh, Carl Carlos Stanley, I've donated another tenner, Scotty. That's twenty pounds altogether. You're welcome. Stop, stop, Carl Carlos Donnelly. I don't want you handing away all your uh, hard-earned pennies. But uh, it's wonderful. It's so really, really kind of you, and you'll get well thanked. I can tell you. Matt McGinn was wonderful, says Gordon Sterling. Yes, Matt McGinn. So there you are. And um, did you know uh, what Ochtern Machte? is famous for. Oxton Muchty was the home of the late, great Jimmy Shand. I think Jimmy lived almost till he was 100, was that right? I'm pretty sure. Uh, talking of politics, whatever happened to Derek Hatton? Um, I'm uh, still in touch with Derek, haven't spoken to him for a while, but uh, a tremendous character, an absolute delight to work with, and quite a gentleman, Derek. So there you are, I worked with a gentleman uh, with um, Derek at uh, Century. Radio in the northwest of England. Lovely character. So there you are. Tremendous man. But tells it like it is. Very, very um, upfront with his stuff, Derek. And I, we like that. We miss people like that. We miss that level of uh, of upfront politician. A shout out, um, says Kieran Bond. Yes, of course, Kieran. Lots of we've done quite a lot of shout outs tonight. We don't just want to make it a shout out show because we've got lots to cover. Uh, you deserve it, says Carol Carlos Donnelly. Carl Carlos Donnelly, thank you so much. It's very, very, very generous of you, very kind of you, and it's very, very much appreciated because that will allow me to get a little bit of advertising and I think improve on the camera as well. I spot on Bamber Gascoigne. So there we are. Yes, yo, I know all these things. I had a discussion with a friend who keeps going, why don't you Google it? Why don't you check it out? Check it out, look it up. And I have to say, I don't need to look these things up. I studied 
all that long before there were any search engines, long before we had the internet as we know it. I know the internet's probably actually been around. Am I right? I think it's been around for about 40 or 50 years uh, since it first a guy started linking up computers in America. But um, as we know it, I mean, I didn't get the internet till 1998. So there you are. What's your favourite Scottish band? I like a band called Quinn who play at the Beacon in Greenock. Jim Jazzman Anderson, fantastic. They're very good. Another great band in the West Coast is uh, Flung a Boot. So they are very good for dances. And uh, they, they do a bit of uh, country dancing music, Scottish music, bit of jazz, anything you want, really. Flung a Boot. So look out for Flung a Boot if you're around the West Coast of Scotland. I always thought you were Derek's mentor. He got better as the show went on, says Kevin Roberts. Derek and I were very good colleagues together. We were great pals, and I loved talking to him because he was a most interesting um, character to work with, and he is a most interesting character to talk to. Tremendous. Uh, knows a terrific amount about a lot of stuff. What's your thoughts on what's been happening in Melbourne, Scotty? Tom, I'm so sorry to hear what's happened in Melbourne. I send love and strength to Melbourne. I send condolences to those who've been injured and to their families and to their friends. It's always a tremendous shock. This kind of thing that's going on in life at the moment of people damaging other people's lives. Stop it, stop it, stop it, right? It will do absolutely no good. And as Gandhi said, if you took an eye for an eye, the whole world will be blind. You know, the Mahatma, remarkable man. So there you are. So I say, just stop it. There is only one race, the human race, you and me. And it doesn't matter what is your creed, your belief, your color, where you are from. You are an inhabitant of the world. You're a member of the human race, an inhabitant of the universe. I hope the money helps you, Scotty. Carl Carlos Donnelly, it will. I can do amazing things. You talk about the feeding of the 5,000. With five pounds, 10 pounds, 20 pounds, I can make things happen, right? We don't need millions and millions and millions and millions of pounds to make high quality media happen. We need experienced broadcasters and a few quid, and it will work. Uh, Matthew Champney is watching, one of the finest men I have ever met in my life. And I've just been working out, he must be about 50 odds now, so they are maybe 51, 52, his last birthday. Matthew Champney, I say dinky do to you. Thank you for your wonderful friendship over many, many years. You are a great guy and love to you and your family, particularly at Christmas, but every day of every year and uh, love to your good lady and to your uh, son and your daughter and to your gorgeous dog so there we are give that lovely dog a big hug from scotty mcclue dinky do and uh, who else have we got we've got uh, hamada is watching dinky do hamada hope you're well and lovely to have made your acquaintance this morning hamida cartilage side uh, have i said it right hamida uh, Tom Cunningham, well said, Scotty. So there you are. Thank you, Tom. That's from the heart. That's what I believe. Uh, if you want to see me with my serious hat on, then go on to YouTube. And I did a tribute to Manchester. Just Scotty McClue, a tribute to Manchester. It's very serious, but it's heartfelt and it's meant. Happy day, Scotty. Glad to be listening again. Pompey says, ahoy. Avid McCaffrey, dinky do and a hoy to you. Scott BD, dinky do. Scotty, you could do a quiz night. Yes, we'll try that, Gary, and see what happens. We'll get to the quizzes, but we can't have you googling. It's who answers, say, within the count of ten, something like that, right? So, right, I'll put a question out, and this is for everybody in Scotland. What is Scotland's only lake? right and i'm going to count to 20 and you have to have it within 20 seconds in front of me here all right what is scotland's only lake question one of our quiz 
What is Scotland's only leak? All right, so let's get that up. You've got under a minute. <coughs> it says here, um, what have I got here? We'll see if I can get that up in a minute. Um, Hamida Cartledge said, yes, have I said it right? Ness, says Scott Beattie. Rang, says McClure. Merry Christmas, Scotty, says Paul Hyman. Thank you, do, Paul. And to you, Ian Walker, the Lake of Men Teeth. Ian Walker, you have won a chocolate watch. So there you are. Oh, I had to go to A&E &E with a lad that swallowed a watch the other night. It was very time-consuming. I have to tell you that. Sorry. Maybe that's not so funny. And uh, there we are. Alpha James Wright, Lake of Monteith. Yes, you put Lake Monteith. It's, it's Menteith, actually. Yes, so there we go. But very good, guys. No Lomond is a loch, Kevin Byers. So there we are. The Lake of Menteith um, out in Stirlingshire there. Lake of Menteith. And uh, so you'd just, you'd go out the road um, to, uh, oh, what's the place called? My goodness me. I should have that on the top of my head here. And uh, and you head out to the Lake of Menteith. Uh, I don't like chocolate. <laughs> so Rolex will do. Um, do you know that when the Argyles were in Aden, the Argyle and Southern Highlanders were in Aden 50 years ago this year, and um, part of the battalion stationed um, in the um, Rolex watch factory in Aden. So they are in the town of Crater. And when the Argyles left, there wasn't a single watch missing. Everything could be accounted for. How fabulous is that? Everybody go and fund Scotty now, says Carl Carlos Donnelly. Yes, go fund me. Um, dot com forward slash Scotty hyphen McClue or PayPal, paypal.me forward slash Scotty McClue or one word you'll get it on the Scotty McClue website. Um, Hamida, what's your question, says Scott Biddy. So there you are. Night night, Scotty, says Hamida Cartledge said. I'm off to bed. Glad of your live streams. Not at all a great privilege and a pleasure. I mean, and lovely to be with you. If you've just joined us, guys, you're watching Scotty McClue. We are, of course, live on Facebook Live. I am the world's top broadcaster, and I am the first lord of the internet. I went to quiz night in Greenock. The first question was, who are you looking at? <laughs> first prize was an alibi. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, some people appreciate that, others might not. Uh, what time you on till Scotty? This is awesome on here, says Kevin Bath. Um, probably just another few minutes, Kev, but it's just to make sure that everybody is there and uh, to get the chit-chat going. And we will try our quiz and see how that goes. Um, what's the only loch in England, Scotty? Oh, my goodness me, the only loch in England. There are, well, St. Mary's Loch in the borders is in Scotland, so it's not that one. Loch Leven's in Scotland. So I'm just trying to think what's the only loch in England? Ian Walker, I give in. And you can tell us here, I'd be racking my brains, I would come up with it at some point. Uh, Kevin Roberts, uh, the Padloch. <laughs> uh, <coughs> uh, will do Scotty you're the best entertainer since Billy Connolly thank you very much Wadge has joined us dinky do dinky do Wadge lovely to have you with us and excellent stuff let's have some thumbs up guys some hearts some dinky do's flying across the screen as soon as you possibly can I'm just going to have a wee sip of the barley water mmm Oh, that's absolutely gorgeous. It's beautiful, beautiful stuff. Can I thank everybody who's contributed to the fund tonight? So there we go. Marvellous. We started off um, with uh, with uh, just a little. And we've ended up with a lot. Got to go. Enjoy the money, Scotty. And thanks for entertaining me. Carol Carlos Donnelly. It's a privilege, but thank you so much for your contribution. It really, really is appreciated. I can't thank you enough. That's the truth of it. I uh, meant Merry Christmas, Scotty, to the audience too. A night to my Uncle Nelly for recognising me. 
Uncle Neely, sorry. I beg your pardon. Uncle Neely for recognising me. That's my eyesight, by the way. Um, are you on here more often now, says Wadge? Well, Wadge, what we did, we lost Sunday night's show. It just disappeared from Facebook Live for whatever reason. And I think it was a technical thing. I don't think it was anything that was mentioned or said or anything like that. But we lost show 61. So Monday night, McClure being McClure, we recorded show 62. Tuesday, show 63. And uh, this morning, no, sorry, 60. What did we lose? Show 60. Anyway, this morning, we recorded, I think, show 63. And this is show, no, 64 this morning. And this is 65. That's it. So we lost 61. Monday night, 62. Tuesday night, 63. Um, Wednesday we didn't do one Thursday morning 64 and this is 65 is that right yes so 65 shows of something that started as just a minute of fun Jim Wilson's watching dinky do Jim lovely to have you with us thank you to everybody for contributing tonight big big thanks to uh, Carol Carlos Donnelly very very kind of you and to all of you I will uh, send you out an email great says Wadge absolutely wedge we're building up the world's top talk show very very important in fact i'm just going to do a share can everybody else do a share right now as we speak and what i'll do i'll maybe even give you a tune on the box if you're very good so there we are now excellent right i'm just sharing that now guys there you go share and i'll share to a page as well i think that's very important and we might even share to the group scotty mcclue is live the new so there we are i'll share to um dinky do and to scotty mcclue these are two pages which i manage as well shared says stephen menzies thank you alan leslie lumsden's watching dinky do are both smoky or four for bridey scotty you've got me there i like a four for bridey but i love and are both smoky just get it straight from the smokehouse start to pick it apart oak chips is that right the oak smoke um so marvelous stuff scotty amazing as always says jim jasmine anderson uh, no i know the box i'm finding the samaritans says ian walker ian walker you're harsh and savage to mcclue i say i have the box here i might start using the box as a wee bit of a threat to anybody on the show who's naughty i'll say oi any more of that and it will be the box for you my boy so there we are. What would you like while we're on? I'll try and put it up the right way. Can't see. I'm looking the wrong way around in the... stuff right brilliant mr mcclure says kevin Byers. well done pal says paul heinman i am as you can probably hear no great shakes on the button key melodion green sleeves says ian walker that's just where i've been wiping my nose dear boy well done pal excellent stuff the bluebell poker that went into number one in the charts with uh, jimmy shan didn't it the bluebell poker uh, fantastic stuff 
and I'd love to be able to play you stuff. The sugary cake and candy man, says Ian Walker, does anyone remember Ali Bally, Ali Bally B, sitting on your mother's knee, greeting for a wee bobby to buy some coolest candy. A jolly good show, says Graham Dunn. Scotty, do you not use your old theme tune, the moose loose about the hoose? No, I can't do too much music in the programme, because I need to start licensing it all, and then I want to upload the programme to YouTube at some point as well. Uh, Scotty, that was... And he mentions, I can't quite read that word. It begins with an S-H, Alan Leslie Lumsden. Thank you very much, Alan. Not at all. So there we are. We can't always argue with you. And um, <laughs> are you on any radio stations now or just online? Well, I don't know about just online, David Randall. I'll tell you what's very interesting. The audience for some of the programmes is higher than it was in radio. I mean, I was getting quarter of a million people per half hour on Scott FM, for instance, across Central Scotland. That's more than 10% of the population listening every half hour. That's massive, massive radio listening. I mean, the only reason we could think that Scotty McClure was taken off Scott FM was because the competition were getting seriously, seriously harmed by the presence of that wonderful big radio station. So there you are. Commercial, commercial harm for the competition when you had a big station like that. Uh, so there you are. Can he do too much music in the care home after nine o'clock? Sorry, Ian, we'll be nice and quiet. I forgot you had to deal with all that. But I'm sure Matron and you get on very well. Uh, Merry Christmas, says Alan Leslie Lovson. Thank you. Jim Jasmine Anderson, Sunny G. Marvellous stuff. So there we go. But I think it's important. Great Yorkshire Radio. And uh, in fact, you'll just have missed it. But Great Yorkshire Radio, they do the Scotty McClue pop-up at 10 o'clock. And Great Yorkshire Radio is the big buzz at the moment. Very, very important. So get yourselves on there. GreatYorkshireRadio.co.uk you should do the wind-ups, the same as Robin Galloway, says Laird George Russell McFarlane. Laird George Russell McFarlane, fantastic. But um, we're uh, just building up at the moment. There's so much can be done. And, uh, you know, I, of all people, have been convinced by, amongst others, your good selves, that Scotty McClue is the future of broadcasting. We were way ahead of our time in radio and brought radio right out to the masses there, talk radio, made talk radio massive. And um, I think what we're doing is um, bridging television. So this is the way television's changing all the time. I mean, remember my program compared with the Polish program, but it's content that matters. So there you are. And this is content because we're interactive with the rest of the world. And you could have anything up to 1.8 billion. We might even increase the, uh, the audience on Facebook Live if we can build and build and build. All right, remember the old adage, build and they will come. Uh, after Hearts' biggest assault over Celtic since 1896 at the weekend, is my way, brackets to be diplomatic, not worth a request. <laughs> uh, oh, all right, right, since it's you, <laughs> I'll do, I'll, I'll, I'll play a wee tune for you. So you're going to get a request, right? And see if you recognize this. I think that's very important. See if you see if you actually recognize it. <coughs> uh, I'll try and balance it so it's not so difficult. sense at all. Uh, you could do a lover's corner phone in <laughs> like the late Mike Reed on Radio 1. Why aren't you on Real Radio anymore, says David Randall. I don't know. You'd need to ask Real Radio. It's actually gone. So they are Real Radio in Scotland. It has become something else. 
<coughs> no, no request now. It's too much. I'm away to write out my last will and testament. Well done, Scotty, and Alan Cadden. Lear George Russell McFarlane, this is my song. Glad yourselves as Jim Jasman Anderson, Paul Hyman, Celtic are only three games away from beating Rangers' record. Uh, fantastic. Just imagine Scotty on River City. That would be great. Yeah, but who do I play on River City? Do I play a good A? Do I play a bad A? Hmm. Hello, Lenny. Let me just explain to you some how this works. Oh, frightening myself now. Um, I can aim that tune in one. <laughs> Para Handy's return. Fantastic. Right, talking of returns, it's maybe time McClue was a way out your road and let you get on with the rest of your night. You play a good day, says Laura Levy. Thanks, Laura, very much appreciated. And um, so there we are. You play the local DJ. Ah, get the butter on and uh, scratch, do a bit of all that sort of stuff. Right, what's the time? Oh, definitely push off time. An absolute privilege being with you. Thank you so much. If you can spare a pound or five pounds or ten pounds, hundred pounds, a thousand pounds, a million pounds, pop it in to gofundme.com forward slash Scotty hyphen McClue. And uh, or on to PayPal, fantastic, and that allows me to accept applause or derision on my merits. It allows for little bits of equipment, and we can start to get updating the show. Mind to pull the plug out, Scotty? No, we don't do that now. We used to say when we're closing down. Now I used to close down an ITV station, and I said it like this: Thanks for another great show, Scotty. Have a great Christmas night, Scotty. Uh, I'm a big fan oh sorry big ian and all oh, great show again thanks to stephen menzies thank you stephen thank you for your generosity everybody scotty be interested in doing a martin clunes type role as doc martin but a scottish doctor in the islands yes that's it and um, get out and come back when you've got something serious wrong with you wasting my time for goodness sake went into the doctors and said can you help me out I said which way did you come in all that sort of stuff. Merry Christmas, says Laura Levy. Absolutely, Laura. And to you. You're on tomorrow night, master of the internet. Fantastic. It's nearly lights out. It nearly is lights out. And uh, in fact, it is lights out. There's the phones going again. Scotty McClure saying dinky doo to all of you. Are you ready for the song? Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Hang on. Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody, of we in, au revoir, and a cheerio. Good night, all. Bless you, and we'll uh, hopefully see you. We might see you tomorrow night. We might see you the next night. We shall see what gives. This is Scotty McClue saying to every single one of you right across the world, have a wonderful Christmas, and dinky-doo, Scotty McClue has left the building.